Right, little job on the D today. I'm back from day one of the Citroen D rally and I picked up some of these bump stops from Darren of Citroen Classics. I'll show you why. Okay. On the rear swing arms, there's two bump stops. One, the car's coming in its low position, so one that's here, that's sort of probably original and completely mushed. And then, <coughs> I know it's in the high position at the moment, so I because um, I've taken the wheels off and then this one which is completely missing and the cup is a bit a bit deformed as you can see so my challenge is to try and hammer that um, into the shape that it should be and put one of these bump stops uh, back in so I'm gonna just try and lightly reform this by clapping it out with a hammer and a few cold chisels I think but I don't really want to detach it from that central bit which is going to be the challenge so I've straightened this up with a, just by putting this bar behind it and, and levering it out. I need to do a little bit more just here, so this is a bit further out. And I'll give it a wire brush and see if I can get one of these bungs in. Right, I think this is just gonna, gonna pop in with a screwdriver. I don't know if I can actually film this while I'm doing it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Obviously, once that's got the weight of the car on it, that'll push it all the way home, I think. So now just I'll do the other side and then put the car on its what are we on on its low suspension setting, which will give me access to this one. Right, next side. This cut looks a bit actually looks a bit straighter. So I might just give it a clean up. Right, that's this side in too. Yeah, it's not in perfectly, but I'm sure it'll squash in when so I put the car in its high setting. So I'll just turn it back on. Uh, what do I mean? No, put it in its low setting. It Surely expose this. Uh, can we see that? Yeah, that will expose this particular bump stop, which will be like soft cheese, I think, after whatever it is, 51 years old. We'll have a look. I've actually had to use the axle, you know, the trolley jack, to push one side up, which has also brought the other side up. Just popped out this one. That's that one just about to be squashed. Um, yeah, this cup's in better condition. Give that a clean out and just pop this one back in with a bit of silicon spray. Right, here's the left-hand side of the car. That's the, this is the old one. Been here for 52 years. See if I can keep the camera steady enough. Come on, get out. Old and new. These are well, power flex. I guess that must be the same company that makes all the bushes and stuff. Yeah, as you can see, this one's. This one's pretty much had its day. Right, got to get the wheels and the wings back on because we're going to go back to Little Hallwood for the concourse competition to see how she goes. Right, in my tinkering around this morning, I've obviously done something to the suspension um, because the ride quality is now not shocking, but very hard. I think it's the rear end of the car that's stiff, much, much stiffer than it was yesterday when we went over to the uh, Little Hallwood D rally. So um, I guess I'm going to the right place to ask the combined knowledge of the Citroen D community what I've done to the car and how I can fix it. Um, I can get people to look at the spheres. Oh, oh, you can see I'm being buffeted around now. So I'm looking forward to finding out what the problem is. Right, I've just stopped to see if I can work out what the problem is with the suspension. And it's the, it's the rear left, if you look. That side hardly moves. That side is much softer. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of locked. 
unlocked. Let's just put it, put the suspension on. This should be rock solid. Yeah, so there's something happened to the rear, rear left. So I'll carry on, I'll put it back in its normal mode. So I know where the problem is. Driver's side left. Rear. So I've got a little Horwood, the DS Rally. I've bought some spheres, I've bought some LHM, I bought an oil filter kit, I bought some oil. And I've been told not to drive home with the sphere in its current condition. So I've got to find some wooden stumps to get the car up in the air, let the car down, change the spheres. So I'm now here. Trying to find some wood. Right, well, I got some wood, but I've got nothing to get the spheres off with. And uh, it'll be a right hassle if I try and start this job here. So I'm going to drive home slowly and uh, maybe have a go this evening um, but maybe not anyway that's the next issue spheres all right for the second time today I've got to get underneath the back of the D uh, to change the spheres so I'm just gonna see if my oil filter wrench will go around a sphere if it does then I'm gonna take the wings and the wheels off again right that's the wheel off this is all now still under pressure so I'm gonna try and get this off with my oil filter wrench and a, uh, my hammer by hitting this sphere and see if I can shock it loose. I just need to break the seal um, and I'll put the wheel back on, do the other side. All right, well that worked a treat. So that's now, that's now gonna be loose enough for me to undo just with the um, oil filter wrench by putting tension on it and just tapping it. You can see a few marks, but that's great. So I'm gonna put the wheel back on and do the other side. All right, this side is, no, this side is now loose. So I've got to put the wheel back on, get the trolley jack underneath the car, but low, then put it on its low setting so it goes down, releases the pressure in the suspension. Then I've got to undo something at the front on the regulator or the accumulator thing, um, which I'll show you. And then I've got to jack the back of the car back up and take these spheres off. All right, the car's gone down with the jack underneath it. I've jacked the rear up. I've now got to loosen the bleed screw on the pressure regulator to remove all the pressure from the circuit. That's the pressure regulator bleed screw. Yeah, just there. Looks like 12 mil to me. So let's just crack that half a turn. All right, well, these might be able to undo my hands now. Now the pressure's been relieved. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just a matter of screwing that off. This is the good one. It was the one that was causing a problem. Oh, look, what a shot. Straight in there. Okay. I'm going to let that drip a little. Get a rag, clean that round. Put a new one back on pretty quick. Let's give this a good clean. You see it's all wobbling about now, it's loose. Yeah, that's it, as clean as possible. open to the elements longer than I need to. So that's where the ceiling washer goes. So that's clean as I can get it. I'm not going to go and clean in there for fear of getting all gunk into it. Yeah, so that's clean as it needs to be. This has got a new seal on it, so that tab pulls off. Might put a little bit of LHM on that seal and then get it screwed in. I put the seal back in there. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it seems most sensible. Spin that shunt on. 
I was told to put these on hand tight, so I'm going to have to put the foam down and then just give it a tweak with both hands. All right, this is the sphere that failed, but before I whip that off, I'll just show you how I've jacked the car up. So to clear the exhaust, I've got a steel beam. That's actually the central part of my Moto Lug motorcycle trailer. And I've got two blocks of wood either side onto the jacking point to clear the exhaust. And as you can see, right, now let's, this is the, this is the sphere that was problematic, but yeah, luckily, just happy to spin off. I've got a little tray to catch the juice, catch the citron suspension juice. Oh, not bad. Outside face. Outside face cleaned up. Fresh piece of cloth. See, it's got a little speck in there now. Let's get on the inside. How's that looking? Yeah, pretty good. So I'm going to put that O-ring back in there and then put the new one on quick. All right, just giving this O-ring a quick, quick wipe with some LHM. Check it's flush. Make sure I refit the new spin. The old one. These spheres are actually, they come in two pressures, standard and comfort. I think the comfort is actually a higher pressure than the standard, but as it suggests, the comfort gives you a softer ride. So if you've got a DS, why wouldn't you option the softer ride? Right, just gonna give it a tweak with both hands and then sort of go for the next stage. We tighten the uh, bleed screw on the actuator. Right, now to see if it's worked. Um, I let it down to its normal height. I've tightened the rear wheel nuts up. Take this back down to its regular height. I'll be able to tell if it's worked pretty quickly because the back of the car should be soft, not hard. And the test is the knee. Yep. Soft. Oh, these, 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 these comfort springs are pretty soft. Look at that. Normal service resumed. Perfect. Right. Supper time. Right, got the wings back on. It's, uh, I'll put my knee on here. can see it's gone back to its bouncy self so I'm gonna just take up a quick spin around the block as a final spin of the weekend before it gets put away again for the week. <laughs> 